We have a physician shortage nationwide and it's actually increasing even more in states like South Carolina, um, specifically impacting rural South Carolina. South Carolina has a very high patient to primary care physician ratio, much higher than the national average. Primary care is the first line of defense. Without good primary care, we don't have good health care. We need more students choosing careers in primary care. South Carolina is growing. South Carolina is growing from an aging population who are utilizing health care more and more. So we're growing economically. That includes rural areas. That includes a high need for primary care in these underserved areas. We have a serious public health crisis. We don't have enough physicians to care for our adults and children in this country, especially in rural areas. Healthcare is primary. It starts at the very beginning of, of your access to care. And until we have a primary care workforce that uh, is robust and uh, looks like the population that we serve, um, then we are going to have a healthcare shortage. You will get gender vein distension too. But as it progresses and gets worse, you're going to just affirm it. So our primary care accelerated track program has a vision of serving multiple stakeholders. Our students who are entering into family medicine, we know that a big reason why students do not choose family medicine is the mounting student loan and debt burden. Medical students leave medical school with about $200,000 in debt. Students that are entering the PCAP program will have a fully scholarship pathway for three years and will directly go into family medicine residency debt free. This allows them to choose careers in primary care, specifically in the rural parts of the state where it's needed most, being able to start their practices from day one. Okay, so all four parts. Right upper, yeah. roll your right. fingers. Roll, yeah. roll, left upper. Yeah. You feel anything? No. Primary Care Accelerated Track really grew out of a vision that I had for a younger me growing up in Abbeville, South Carolina, a rural part of the state. Uh, I was a first generation college student trying to go to medical school with no funding and a scholarship program such as this is one that um, would have allowed me to go through medical school and into residency debt free. When we looked at planning the Primary Care Accelerated Track, we realized that it would be challenging to place four years worth of curriculum into three years. We also realized that much of the fourth year of medical school is spent interviewing, trying to decide which career to pursue, where to go, where to do away rotations, applications, and the Primary Care Accelerated Track actually removes those barriers because our students already know that they will match into family medicine in one of our three primary care family medicine programs. A Primary Care Accelerated Track student has graduated within three years. They've been exposed clinically from day one. They've graduated with no tuition debt. They're entering into a residency program that they've trained in as a medical student, and they're serving our patient population within the geographic footprint of our medical school. Family medicine and primary care in general, and getting to see my patients grow and see form that relationship and have that trust that they can come to me with anything, and getting that early exposure to that early on with PCAT is just so amazing, and I think it'll make us well-practiced, well-seasoned physicians that are able to help our patients in ways that uh, a fresh resident couldn't really do. When your choice is 45 minutes or try and tough it out, the community often tries to tough it out. Hence, that drove my desire and inspiration to come here. We need to be able to get primary care practitioners into these areas every single day. Having the opportunity to train dedicatedly since day one is something so valuable. Getting inside the clinic, getting the experience, all so I can bring it back home to my community. A patient comes in first to their primary care physician. That physician has to decide what they can take care of and what they may need to refer to another specialist. Therefore, it's important to them for them to be exposed to as many areas of medicine as possible. We know that students that come from rural areas are way more likely to go back to rural areas and practice medicine. Being able to go back and bring that level of expertise, be the help they need, is by far something that I use every day as inspiration and will become that reward. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. I've always wanted to be the doctor that you, that you call my doctor. I've always wanted to be that source of um, comfort for my patients. Our program serves students, it serves residency programs, it serves our 
institution, it serves um, our affiliated healthcare system to better serve our patients. We have a dedicated group of faculty and staff ready to help these students get into the clinics and see patients uh, right away. We uh, are a very unique school in that we provide opportunities for students to take care of patients from day one. I am so excited for the future of this program and for the future of our medical school.